Okay, in this video, we are going to graph systems of inequalities, and we will do three problems. Um, this one right here will be our first problem, this will be our second problem, and this will be our third problem. But if you want to pause the video here and attempt them, feel free. So we want to graph this system of inequality, and it's saying that y is less than or equal to 1. And we know that solid lines are represented by less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So we need to sh use a solid line for this problem. So it's saying y is less than or equal to 1. And we have to remember this is our x-axis horizontally and vertically is our y-axis. And it's saying that y is less than or equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is put a solid line because it's saying it's less than or equal to. So right here is our origin of 0, comma 0. So x is 0, y is 0. And so if you go up 1, the y value is 0. This is 0, comma 1. This is 1, comma 1. This is 2, comma 1. This is 3, comma 1, 4, comma 1. We notice that the y value is always 1. And that's why it's being depicted by a horizontal line. But we're not done yet. This is an inequality. It's saying that y is less than or equal to 1. So it's going to be everything below. And so pretty much all of this region right here would be our answer. Okay, now we'll do the second problem, same procedure. And the first one is very similar. Y is less than 1. It's not saying Y is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And we have to depict that with a dashed line. So we'll put a dashed line. Um, it's saying y is less than 1. So here's the origin 0 comma 0. This is 0 comma 1. Again, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1, 4 comma 1. The y value is always 1 for this horizontal line. Now I'm going to do a, a brief little uh, dash. This isn't the answer because we have, you know, two of them. We have two inequalities. So we have to also show x is greater than 1. Okay, now for our second inequality, saying x is greater than 1, and this is 0, 0, so going right 1, this is 1, 0. So the x value here is 1, but it's saying that x is bigger than 1. So still going to be a dashed line at this point right here, but our next thing is our shading. So x is bigger than 1. To the left would be less than, and to the right would be bigger than. But now you may ask, you know, why was this a vertical line? Let's show why. So this point right here is 1, 0. This is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. The x value is locked at 1. Now our problem says x is greater than 1, so it's going to be everything to the right, all of this. So our last step is to see what area is common, what region is it being shared. So here, you know, nothing is touching. Here only blue is touching. Here's only red is touching. And here we have some red, we have some blue. So all of this region would be our answer. And that's pretty much it for this second problem. We're gonna do one more problem, which has three inequalities. So pretty much same procedure for this problem. Y is less than one, so it's saying less than, so we know it's gonna be a dashed line. This is 0, 0, and this is 0, 1. This is 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. So the y value is locked at 1. Now this problem is saying y is less than 1, so it's going to go all the stuff below. And we're going to do the exact same thing for x. x is bigger than 1. So we go to the right, right here, and it's saying x is greater than 1. So it's going to be a dashed line because it's not or equal to. That's why it's a dashed line. Now, x is greater than 1 means it goes to the right. So all of this would be common area. But we're not done yet. This has three inequalities. This is saying y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. So it's one of those linear lines. So let's get the y-intercept, which is if x is 0, then y is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we can get another point by going up 3, 1, 2, 3, and going left 1, because it's a negative 3x slope. And we can do it again, 1, 2, 3, and then we go right 1, because again, the slope is negative 3x. So we can kind of just connect the line, 
Now it's saying y is greater than or equal to, and to show that, it's just going up. So all of this area would show this information. And now our last step is to see what's common. What area has blue, red, and pink? And so this area right here covers everything. And we can kind of think about this a little bit. You know, this area, nothing is really touching except this little, this little pink area. This is the only thing is touching is red. Here we have pink and blue. And here we have all three colors. We have blue, we have some pink, we have some red. And this region right here would be our final answer. And that's pretty much it regarding graphing inequalities.